Elle Brooke had a, she went on Piers Morgan Uncensored. They talked about how Piers Morgan is supposedly, he's been canceled and he's, uh, he's, been, he's been deplatformed. While he is on Sky <laughs> News and every major social media platform. So, so she went on that platform and she, she talked about her experience being on OnlyFans. He had pointed questions for her. I think for the most part, he was actually fairly respectful to her the whole time. It was just one question at the end that really seemed to upset her. And it was the hypothetical question question about, look, what's going to happen in 30 years when your kids are in school and they're bullied mm -hmm. because your, their mom had an OnlyFans page? Yeah, I think just any criticism of women's choices is now interpreted as misogynistic, which is not fair. You're obviously. not allowed to que question anything a woman does. Yeah, and really like his admonishing of this OnlyFans model was not... Uh, it, he didn't go hard enough. In he didn't my go opinion. hard at all. He, he was in, polite in fact, the whole time. His main criticism was like, wouldn't you be more proud of your career if you had stayed in school, gotten your law degree, and had something to say for yourself instead of going the easy way out and making money off of taking your clothes off? If only I could do that. And it's really not the easy way out. That's probably hard. It's probably soul crushing. And this stuff destroys souls. So when I see, I was going off about this earlier. When yeah, I, on the on the Insta, on the post for this today, where I said I, th I said I think Mary's got some some serious thoughts about some yeah. of these topics today. I figured it was this one. If your only criticism is uh, the Blair White criticism, right? They yeah. they had they had Blair White on this segment as well to add her, her thoughts on OnlyFans, and like. The only criticism seems to be some pragmatic concern about like, oh, well, the average OnlyFans creator only makes $180 a month. So it's really not something you can make a living off of. And it's a pyramid scheme. And you're, uh, you know, convincing young girls who are out of high school or college to do this when uh, it's going to be destructive to their reputation. I'm not so concerned about their reputations because anybody can... Uh, you know, do porn and then have a life after that. Like you're still a person. I'm concerned about their souls getting destroyed. And I think like the spiritual problem is not addressed because of moral cowardice. And I hate this constant refrain of like, oh, well, obviously you're free to do whatever you mm -hmm. want as long as you're an adult and you're making free choices and everyone's consenting adults and da da da. Like that refrain to me sounds so cowardly. And the only reason we're having this conversation about OnlyFans isn't because we have pragmatic concerns. It's really not. It's because we're viscerally disgusted by sex work. And it's because we have a natural inclination in our conscience that tells us, us that it's wrong. We know that stealing is wrong. We know that murder is wrong. And we know that it's wrong to sell sex, to sell your intimacy on the internet or in person. We feel viscerally disgusted by this behavior, rightfully so. But because we're too cowardly, not, not me, but because, like, <laughs> because we're too cowardly to actually say, no, I think uh, this is destroying you spiritually and it's destroying you emotionally and psychologically, we're saying instead, oh, well, uh, I'm just worried about your, your professional career. I'm worried about whether you, if, if you have kids, what will they think of this later on? I'm worried about, uh, are you gonna be able to make a living off of this long term? <clears throat> I don't care if you're able to, you, you could be a billionaire off of OnlyFans for all I care. It's still destructive to you personally. So I'm gonna call it out on a moral basis. And the constant refrain of like, oh, well, good for you if it's going well for you and if you're happy and you're consenting and you're an adult. No, not good for you. I, I'm tired of that. I, like that, that's cowardly. I think the, the constant refrain of like, you know, this is okay as long as it works out for you, that has no compassion for the person in question, specifically Elle Brooke, who has said that she has been sexual since a young age and so, so sexually driven. These OnlyFans models say this about their personalities. It's a marker of getting molested. Like this is, this is a marker of someone who's been exposed to sexuality at a, too young of an age and becomes hypersexual as a coping mechanism for it. Like, but no one's addressing that because it's ugly and it's, it's scary to talk about morals these days. I don't have pragmatic concerns about how much money this woman makes. 
She's going to be fine. She could retire now at 25 for, like, and be fine for the rest of her life. I don't care about how, money she, how much money she makes. She's going to be miserable in the end because this is spiritually destructive. Um, there, I've had my go-off moment. There's a $20 super chat there from Derp Devil. He said, every bum's lot in life is their own responsibility. I didn't blame anyone for the loss of my legs. Some Chinaman took them from me in Korea, but I went out and achieved anyway. I can't solve your problems, sir. Only you can. There yeah. You I mean, I, I agree that, like, we need to emphasize accountability here, but um, when this woman is publicizing her uh, lifestyle and glamorizing it to younger and more naive women... I think they don't really understand the consequences yet. And this is something you do because you're impulsive and value instant gratification. That was my point earlier. I said it's a, it's a symptom of a society that has devalued family and uh, he heavily puts, puts heavy f uh, favor on the idea of instant gratification. I unfortunately do fall in the camp of like, look, I've got 10 million things to worry about in my life. My life has been a disaster more times than I can count. I've had to overcome my own crap. I can't bring myself to care about whether... The, like, but it, you admit that that's selfish, right? Um, that I don't care about whether this woman's soul is is redeemed sure I, I guess then it's selfish of me but i don't care like it doesn't bother me what she does in her in her free time and, and i'm not taking a moral stance on that or saying that i'm a better person because i'm or that i'm a good person because i don't care or that it's some libertarian ideal i just don't care sure but you also wouldn't be poor pierce morgan bringing her on the show to criticize her lifestyle you wouldn't be that guy i think he's bringing her on the show and criticizing her only in a way that's safe uh, like if I, if I, if she was on the show, I, I would let her talk and I would have no opinion one way or the other. Cause I don't care. Cause I don't care. Yeah. Like, look, uh, look, there's but a, to each their own live and let live mentality. It selfishness is at the center of it. Yeah, sure. Like and a the, lack of compassion for the individual is at the center of that mentality. You're, you're, yeah. Like, and I mean, his criticism for her lifestyle clearly comes from a place in, in him that thinks this is morally wrong, but he doesn't have the moral courage. I don't think he, I don't think he has a moral problem. articulate that. And he I doesn't do not maybe that. have the vocabulary for it because he lives in this postmodern world where our morality is all about. Uh, I don't think he has a problem with it at all. Harm. I don't think he has a problem with it at all. I think that he's a, a content creator that wants fodder for his program, just like anybody in that place form. Is that also a little bit ghoulish? I or? think a lot of people, maybe, maybe Pierce Morgan aside, a lot of people have criticisms for OF uh, that are really just a moral... Uh, it's, a, it's a moral... Um, how, how am I going to say this? They have a moral problem with sex work, but they're cloaking it as a pragmatic concern because that's the safe thing to do. Okay. But it would get you more backlash and, and more criticism back at you if you said, I have a moral issue with this. But if you just say, oh, like, what about your ability to get a normal job in the future? That sounds more like a pragmatic concern, and it's true, and that should be brought up as well as the, the moral concern. Um, I wanted to also show a clip from the interview. Okay, let's, uh, the Twitter clip, right? Where he, he asks her about what if your future children see this about content. You this one? Mm -hmm. okay. Being okay. someone who embarked on a, a law career, mm. was obviously very bright, went to university, packed it in just for money, to be effectively an online stripper. I mean, that's what you do, right? Yeah, way worse than an online stripper. But um, what do you mean, way worse? <laughs> way worse. Online strippers just, you know, naked. I do things that are way more grotesque. Well, than just that. pornography. <laughs> pornography, anything. But it's all within what I want to do, and I absolutely love it, and I'm really good at it. You know, I could be. I do think that there's a, a desire for her to rationalize very quickly. This is a she's, massive cope. Because she's expe She's uh, like, I, I mean, cope, yeah, but also because she can, like, she's predicting the pushback before it even comes. Yeah. So, a good lawyer, yes. But also, am I good at doing other things on video and camera? How would yes. you feel when you want to have kids yourself? Well, I mean, that's. I, I don't really want kids right now. But, but you will do. How old are you? 25. Right. So you will do at some stage, probably, right? Maybe. When you do, you next gonna you got to pull the entertainment. Like your eggs are going to dry up. <laughs> you have your little ones, and they look at you and go, "Didn't you want to be a lawyer, mummy? What happened?" Yeah. And you go, "Here, but look at all my stuff." They can cry in a Ferrari. 
See, why would she think that money can solve the problem of a kid being bullied? Well, the kid won't know the difference at that age whether the the kid won't know whether the Lamborghini is a better thing to cry in than a Toyota Corolla. It makes no difference to the kid. Yeah. And this is also the question I asked on whatever. I, I asked, like, you know, how are you going to feel when you have kids in the future if you have kids? And they will get bullied. Yep. Because you've been sucking dick on camera throughout your 20s. It is funny to me to live in a society that simultaneously tells us that bullying is a ridiculously huge problem. Everyone's getting bullied. We need to stop bullying. But not understanding the the practical ideal that we push concepts and we push lifestyles that get people bullied. Again, I'm not going to bully someone for what they choose to do with their life. But I understand. Because you're a grown adult. Because I understand (laughs) as you said earlier, pragmatically, that you you make your own bed, right? Coming to work here does that. Coming to work at this company gets you uh, hate from people sure. because they don't like your boss or they don't like your politics. But it's a decision you have to make based on what you believe is important. Is this job important to you? Do, do the things that you're advocating for matter? Do the things, do do the company's beliefs matter to you? Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Or maybe it's just that you need a job and it pays you money and you're happy with your job, right? But it is still a practical decision you yourself have to make uh, for one another. This happens in politics. When Donald Trump decided to run for office, you don't think he had to sit down with his family and say, look, this is going to change every one of our lives, If I'm going to push back against media establishment, if I am going to become some type of pariah against the government, which will be fought against wholeheartedly by every aspect of the mainstream culture, those kids didn't really have a choice. They are now part of it, and it's their life whether they wanted it or not. Sure, but I mean, running for president isn't morally wrong. (laughs) Doing OnlyFans Yeah, but no, but but, but the, the bullying is the same. Whether, whether, Do you think that Baron Trump has gotten bullied for... Oh, my I, my prediction is he ends up being the dictator. I think all of this leads to him. This is his Sigma like, male... I think that all of the horrible things that have been done in the name of, of pushing back against the Trump family leads us to an because election where, 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 where Baron Trump wins the election <laughs> and seizes control yeah. of the United States of America. But what recourse does a kid with a porn star mother have when he's getting bullied for his, his mom's content. He, he gets to there. cry in the Lamborghini. He doesn't get to cry. He doesn't quite get to cry like, at a Mar-a-Lago this, estate, but he gets to cry in a Lamborghini. This sadly sounds like, um, I, I know this cause I've watched other interviews of L Brooks. Um, it sounds like she thinks, Oh, I would have been happy as a child. I would have had a happier childhood if I were, uh, materially comfortable. But that's yeah. not true. Money doesn't matter to a kid. Again, like I said, well, it, it uh, matters whether they I, feel safe in their own home. Yeah. And especially with like the way that bullying has accelerated because you can't actually escape it once it's online. Nope. It, that doesn't solve the problem. Yeah, I don't know. Like, and she all... also says, like, oh, I don't want kids right now. Well, obviously, his question is about what is going to happen in ten years or twenty years. Net and Yahoo. In the chat, Net and Yahoo says porn stars don't have kids. She's delusional. Porn stars have kids all the time. That's yeah. not true. Porn stars do absolutely have kids. And you then wonder what's going to happen. If you're living when, a promiscuous lifestyle, yeah. you are likely to get pregnant. So, yep. um, but it's just all about like living in the moment and not thinking about the consequences. And that's one of the consequences. But I don't, Instant even gratification. if this woman never has kids, I'm talking about her well-being as an individual has been hurt by this lifestyle and will be she's going to mourn the loss of having a normal life later on whether or not she has kids it doesn't matter how much money you have that happens to a lot a good example of something like that that may be less of a uh it allows you to have this discussion in a less tense environment even though it would still be similar is the people who go through tons of plastic surgery who then regret it later who live in the moment, get the surgery now because they they want to make the modifications to their body now, but don't realize until later that they find it to be something that they wish they hadn't done. Some things are irreversible. Some things are irreversible. Um, Yeah. I'm just saying the 
what you should say to an 18 year old thinking about making an OnlyFans isn't, oh, well, you won't make much money doing that. You could make more money being a software engineer. They're not, they're not motivated by money, actually. They're motivated by need for validation oh, and I attention think... and affirmation. And it's usually a woman who has been taught or conditioned by the media or by her uh, ex experiences and her upbringing to think that her sexuality is all she has to offer the world. I Which think is it's incorrect. a combination of all those things. It, I think it's a money still plays. Yes. I still money. I but think she's money looking plays a for security, it. whether it's monetary or whether it's emotional. People are doing these things for complex reasons, and mm -hmm. telling someone, "Oh, well, you shouldn't make an OnlyFans because you you could only make two hundred dollars a month doing that." It's not about the money usually for them. It's because they have a need for they have a pathological need for validation, yeah. and if you don't search for that in a meaningful way i think that mixed with this with an extreme um need for money and for uh but again I, I it's think, about security yeah, because like yeah. people chase after money again to feel secure emotionally too that like, yeah like, there is a proven cap a ceiling to how much money you can make where it affects your happiness what is, so at one point like, it was calculated uh, to be 70k a year like 100 but over, it's inflated let's say it's six figures now it's like you need 200, to make six figures and th that's the ceiling for how much money you make affecting your, your happiness level. Yeah. After a certain point, if you're making tens of millions of dollars, it doesn't affect your happiness anymore. So you really are chasing after this like monetary comfort, material comforts, because you feel extremely insecure I in your psyche. And I think that's the, the real motivation behind these women making OnlyFans. I got reached out to by an OnlyFans recruiter back when I was making all my um, my. Back when OnlyFans had a more uh, when, squeaky when, clean when image. When they were when they were going they were looking towards, after... they were looking to branch out yeah. and do more like basically be, make it like a Patreon type yeah. thing. And they're like, we're looking for creators who are creating alternative content related to sports and mental health. And I was like, yeah, um, no, because I already first of all I already had a Patreon at that point, but I was like, part of me for the lulls thought it was hilarious. But like, yeah, like they tried to rebrand and it just didn't work. Also, I'm I'm really tired of the, the constant refrain that like your personal choices don't affect anyone else. Like as long as you're a consenting adult and you're happy doing what you do, it does affect other people. Your individual choices, whether you like it or not, they have effects on our collective consciousness and, and society. They also so, point out that she, her mother is on her payroll, so her mother can't really have all that negative an approach to it because it affects her financially. Right. There are other people implicated in the situation. It's not just you, yeah. you know? So also women doing OnlyFans has affected uh, women who, who don't make that decision as well. It sexualizes women on the whole because you're dehumanizing yourself. You're degrading yourself and your whole gender. I mean, think about the the story of the woman who worked at Home Depot. She, the two the two women who worked at Home Depot, and there were like people oh, okay. were ba they were like, "Congratulations for being hot and not being on OnlyFans." Right, but yeah. then when she says, "Oh, I'm not interested in that. I want to make money in an honest way," she gets hate for saying that it's dishonorable or uh, dishonest to make money off of sex work. It's insane. Like if if other women are constantly getting harassed to sexualize themselves online just because you're doing it obviously your decision to objectify yourself and degrade yourself is affecting other people negatively There's i get i literally i don't know if this is spam bots or whatever but i i get people dming me just a link to only fans like they literally dm me onlyfans.com and it's either that's a spam bot or they're doing that to be like passive aggressive or I get comments that are like, oh, where is this girl's OnlyFans? Link me to her OnlyFans. It, it, it affects even the women who don't make the decision to sexualize themselves. It's, um, to me, it's a sign of a lonely society where we've devalued family, where the marriage rates are plummeting, the divorce rates, uh, rates are skyrocketing. Men are extremely lonely. Women are extremely manipulated by a lot of this stuff. And until the men aren't willing to shell out the money for this stuff until we promote again a culture that tells people, look, 
it's a good idea to get married at a, at a younger age, have kids, have a family, go against right. what every aspect of the culture is telling you. We're going to keep seeing this grow because I, like I said, I, like, as much as we want to put this on the women, for whatever reason, like I said, I'm, I fall into that camp that, that you're complaining about here where I'm like, like I'm, I'm the selfish one. I don't give a crap what this lady does. But until, the, until there's no financial incentive for the women to do it, the, as long as the men are going to keep shelling out the money for it, like you're, this isn't going to go away any faster than Twitch bot, than, than Twitch thoughts are going to go away. It's always going to be there because we're an increasingly lonely society mm -hmm. that's heavily focused on instant gratification with no value placed on family. I posted this clip on Instagram um, that a lot of people didn't like where I said women are easy to indoctrinate. They're... Uh, easy they're they're highly malleable to ideologies and that's why they become extremely leftist they're highly suggestible and my point is women have limited agency because of their high suggestibility and their their openness to whatever uh is considered like the way to get affirmation they they women feel affirmed by getting outside validation and approval and if the only way that they see uh, or if the, the, the way that they see to get it is sexualizing themselves, then that's what they're going to do. Yep. And I'm all for personal responsibility and, you know. Unless you're a woman, accountability, she says. But you have to recognize the psychological difference between men and women to understand why women are doing this. Yep. So... Like I, like I said, I don't think it changes. It says, uh, I, I looked it up, I was curious. There's 3 million content creators on OnlyFans. That's a tiny amount considering the size of our society. But think about like how this has taken over the conversation. Yep, yep. Um, and also she ended up writing a piece in The Independent where she talked about the interview and gloated about how she made Pierce Morgan look stupid. She said, um, every question that Pierce Morgan asked me wasn't something out of the ordinary. They're actually questions that sex workers get all the time. What, real, what will your children think? What are your children going to do? Your kids are going to get bullied. It's something that people love to tell sex workers just to antagonize them. And that's being dishonest too, because you can have, just because you've heard the question before, it doesn't mean it's dishonest when other people ask the question multiple times. Right. When, when multiple people ask the same question, isn't a sign of, of uh, bigotry against you. But then again, remember, we do live in a society where women are pathologically allergic to taking responsibility for their own actions. Mm -hmm. She said, I think it's a dumb question to ask a sex worker about their hypothetical kids' opinions. It's mad for a man to expect women to only want kids, assuming that they'll want kids or have kids one day. It's mad to think that only men would have these questions. Right. Yeah. Um, like I said, we're, in the, we're having this conversation and Mary's the one asking you these questions, lady. Not me. I don't give a crap what you do with your life. Mary's the one who's trying to save your soul. I don't really care what happens to you, unfortunately. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.